And it's time to level up. And girl, let me tell you, you already are. I don't want our fairy tale to end. Girl, did you see who just walked in? I did. I know we haven't talked in a while. I wanted to apologize. Hillary, every time something in life gets hard, you run. For what it's worth, I was rooting for you. Ashley loves me. And Will, he also loves me. And now, your dad loves me. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Bel Air, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're going to be talking about Bel Air Season 3, Episode 2. This is the recap. Now, I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key points in this episode. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. And man, your girl Jackie, she was on a mission this episode. She said, you know what? I'm going to get close to Will at all costs. I mean, she popped up at a spot. And then at the end of the episode, she said, you know what? I want a job at the country club. I want to be the new yoga instructor, right? So she ain't playing around. I cannot wait to see Lisa's face when she realizes that Jackie is back in the picture and she's pushing up on Will. You already know it's about to be a lot of drama real soon. But in this episode, we saw a lot of different things. Of course, Will and Carlton, they finally figured out an idea as far as their business. They have a brand name, Black Cess. And we're going to see if this ends up working. We know Quentin, he was not playing around. He gave them 48 hours to come up with something or he was going to move on to someone else. So it was good to see them finally come up with something because they were struggling. They were struggling at the very beginning of the episode. But this was a good episode in my opinion. After I do this recap, I'm going to check out episode three, give you guys the quick thoughts for that. And then I'm going to drop the episode three recap for you guys later on in the day and then after that we can prepare for episode four but let's hop right into it what did we see in episode two titled pivot now the episode begins with will and carlton with all these different ideas on business and it doesn't really seem like things are sticking for them y'all i mean they had an idea about a reusable condom i mean i'm looking like really these dudes don't know what the hell they doing it's just funny right but they got to hurry up and come up with something real quick because Quentin, he's going to want to know what they have come up with because this is why they're a part of his program. I mean, it's a business program. So if he's going to invest his time and money with these guys and give them knowledge about how they can improve and do things to, you know, continue to be successful, they got to make sure they do their part and at least let him know what this business is going to be about and if it can actually work. Now, I'm Vib and Uncle Phil. They think that Will and Carlton need a job. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the day, Quentin, he put in a lot of work. We know Uncle Phil, he put in a lot of work. And it's always good to see how things are built from the ground up. And it can also humble you. You know what I'm saying? You need to go out there, put in that work, make your own money, and not always have people give you things, right? Now, Carlton, he pissed off. He's like, man, really? He ain't trying to work at all, especially over the summer. Now, they get to the country club because that's where they're going to be working at. And they're trying to get like a sales job or whatever. But Mr. Briggs tells them, uh, we don't got that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no sales job, but y'all can clean these golf carts. So they even more upset, like really. And we know Carlton most likely felt embarrassed when his fake friend from high school popped up. Now, we know Hillary and Ashley, they're going to be kicking it in this episode. And the thing is, Hillary has to do whatever Ashley wants to do. And Ashley, she's smart. So, of course, she wants to go to the record store because we know that's where Jazz works because she likes Jazz. She ain't really messing with LaMarcus. And that's who she wants her sister to be with, Jazz. And all Hillary can do is just laugh about it because she already knows it's about to be some mess when she talks to him later on. Now, we get to Connor and his fake and phony popped. I mean, these guys, they be showing fake love, plain and simple. I don't even know why your boy Carlton was kicking with this guy in the first place. Will, he ain't feeling them at all. But I know Connor's dad was talking about, I work for Google and all that stuff. Um, let me know if you need me to you know, help you out one day and all that. And he's a fan. He loves that Will plays basketball. They're kind of shocked that Will is not playing basketball over the summer and that him and Carlton are working at this country club and they're trying to start their own business. But 
It didn't seem like Connor and his fake daddy gave a damn for real. And we know Will caught them, you know, sneak dissing later on in the episode. Now, Will and Carlton's supervisor, he pops up, lets them know they ain't supposed to be talking to people like that and they need to get to work. He ain't playing around at all. Now, we get to Frederick and every time I see his face, I just think he's a fake and phony too. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust him at all. But he wants to know his pops' business. He wants to know all the things he used to do back in the day. We know Jeffrey used to put in that work. We know Jeffrey done dropped off bodies, but he ain't about to tell his son that. Like, really? He ain't telling him nothing. But we know his son seems like he knows more than what he's putting off. And I'm pretty sure his son has his own secrets his damn self. Now... We get to your boy Quentin. He gives Will and Carlton 48 hours to give him, you know, a business idea because he ain't got time. If they don't give him something, he's going to move on to some other people and that's it. Now, Uncle Phil needs somebody to cater his, you know, his firm opening party or whatever. And he tries to get help from Unvid because he knows she has a deep contact list and Hillary, she can't do it. So, of course, Aunt Vid was kind of upset, like, really, I got my own work to do, but I'm still doing things for him. But her co-worker, Cruz, said, look, she got it. She knows a guy that can help out. And we know this guy, you know what I'm saying, he had Aunt Vib kind of kind of hot later on in the episode. Now, we get to Hillary and Ashley. They go to Jazz's record shop. And while Hillary and Jazz are going back and forth, because y'all know they got some issues, your girl Ashley notices some tax papers and now we know that Jazz ain't doing too good. The business ain't doing too good and it can close. Now, of course, Jazz plays it off like it ain't that big of a deal or whatever. But Hillary, she's not going to let it go. She wants to help out Jazz regardless of what they are going through because she really does care for him. She loves Jazz. You know what I'm saying? And she lets her dad know because later on in the episode, Phil does have, you know, a conversation with Jazz about business and you can tell that Jazz, he knew Hillary told her pops and he was kind of upset and they had another conversation about that. Now, we get to the caterer. His name is Sharif, I believe, and you know what I'm saying? He making some chicken tacos and I'm vid. Look, she was loving it, y'all. And she was like, man, like he can really cook. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, he is going to be a problem. Um, Vib, she like him. He up there flirting. And it's going to make the storyline that much more messier. And I cannot wait to see how it's all going to play out. Now, we get to Will. Of course, he's going over some of the things about the business with Quentin. And all of a sudden, his supervisor pops up. And he's like, man, what the hell is you doing? Like, you missed the spot. And it really did seem like they was about to start, you know, having a big argument. But once they start talking about their lives and we learn more about it, you know, his supervisor's character, we notice that the two have a lot in common and this conversation ended up turning good. And, you know, his supervisor told him like, look, I understand you're trying to, you know, work on your business and stuff like that. And then he gives Will the keys to the golf cart, tells him to go to whole nine. And he can basically hear about how a lot of these guys start their business because that's all they be doing out there. You know what I'm saying? They be talking a lot and, you know, give out, you know, a lot of detail. So once Will goes out there, he realizes that Connor and his fake pops is out there running their mouth about him. Basically talking about how him quitting basketball was stupid. That was his only way out. Connor talking about he wants to be a Bel Air kid so bad. I mean, straight hating. You know what I'm saying? And Will, he hears all this. And remember, Will, he was all in his head about if he can do other things or whatever. Because that's the conversation that he had with Uncle Phil about his pops. So y'all know, even though these guys are running their mouths, these things are getting to Will, so he ain't going to stop. You know what I'm saying? Will going to continue to prove everybody wrong and, you know, create better avenues for himself. And having fake and phony guys like Connor and his dad, those guys like that, all that's going to do is motivate you to do better. And, you know, your boy Will, he going to continue to push. Now, we get to Carlton and Unvib. They have a, you know, a very emotional conversation. He lets her know that Amira actually helped him in rehab and he really wants her around. He, you know, he wants that friendship. And she told him she will think about it. She's going to, you know, have a conversation with his pops. And they're going to go from there. So we're going to see. Now, we get to your girl, Erica. She's shaky, y'all. She's like, man, did you tell your wife about the kiss and all that stuff? And Phil tells her no. Like, he didn't tell her at all. You know what I'm saying? She has nothing to worry about. And we know he does not plan on telling her. But later on in the episode, the way that Erica was moving around on um, Vib, I mean, she was doing too much, man. 
she was doing entirely too much. So you already know what time it is on VIP. She gonna know something is going on because Erica, she's straight up tweaking. Now, we get to Jackie. She has returned and she putting that pressure on Will. She knows what time it is. Talking about she was getting a letter of recommendation or whatever. She was just shooting her shot. Like, really? You shooting your shot all right. You just trying to get real close to Will because you trying to get those cheeks clapped. You trying to hook up. Let's just be honest. Now, you know she was salty that Will did not show up to the whole basketball tournament, whatever. She was bummed out about that. She was trying to kick it with him, y'all. That's what she was trying to do. They talk about their parents, and, you know, they have some similarities because, you know, Will's pops and her mom, they think their kid can only do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Keeping them in the box. But Jackie was like, you know what I'm saying? We can do things outside the box or whatever. And she got real close to Will. And she knows exactly what she doing, y'all. I mean, right before she left, she said, don't be a stranger. And y'all already know what time it is. When people say that, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? They basically saying, you can get this for real. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Text me, call me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hook up for real. That's what Jackie is doing. And Will, he knows this. I mean, the body never lies. That body language is something else. I'm telling you right now. And she going to continue to be a problem this season, especially if she's around Will. You guys let me know what you think about your girl Jackie in this episode. The sad thing is, this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Because she going to make sure she ends the episode with the bang because she ain't going away no time soon. Now, Carlton, he pops up on Amira. He knows exactly where she's going to be at these meetings or whatever. And of course, she's kind of upset. Like, really? Like, what are you doing? She's been ghosting him and she's doing it purposely because of his moms or whatever. She ain't trying to be around him. She believes if she's just quick, you know, cold turkey, that's the best way. But Carlton's like, look, I need you and all that. She basically calls this man a stalker. I mean, she basically said, you Joe from you. And she wants him to stay away. We know Carlton, he needs her. He needs her right now now and i know he was salty because she basically embarrassed him in front of everybody now we get to uncle phil's firm opening business party and of course all the high rollers they there jazz will and carlton they show up we know jazz he got some tax problems and will invited him you know hoping that maybe he can find some help there now will and carlton are introduced to jeffrey's son frederick and we know Uncle Phil, he has a conversation with Jeffrey about his son because all he does is he asks all these questions about his past and all that. Well, Uncle Phil said, look, how about we give him a job here? That way you can keep your eyes on him for safety. Now, we get to Erica, Aunt Vib, and Uncle Phil. And Erica, man, I mean, she's already tweaking out or whatever. She says hi to Aunt Vib, and then all of a sudden she's like, look, oh, there goes some clients. And she walks away all quick and nervous acting and we can tell Aunt Vib understands that something ain't right. Now Aunt Vib was kind of upset. I mean she did put on a smile but Uncle Phil he's talking to all these people talking about you know having these business meetings at the house and all that stuff and she's not really trying to be involved in any of that. She's like look I got my own stuff I need to be worried about right and she does tell you know Phil this later on in the episode that he is going to have to do some of those things by himself without her. Now, we get to one of the black business legends, Byron Allen. He does give like a little speech to Will and Carlton about business, about being great and how it's a decision and about ownership. I mean, they had conversations with a lot of other people as well, a lot of different black leaders, and they're just getting inspiration. That way, they can go to Quentin and pitch their new idea. Now, we get to Hillary and of course, Aunt Vib. They go and they basically thank Sharif for the food telling him you know the food is great and he flirting you know what I'm saying he's like man I can't believe you got an adult daughter y'all can be sisters I mean he ain't playing around now Hillary she understands that he's flirting and she does tell her like look I'm gonna tell daddy like what's going on but she's just laughing or whatever nothing too serious but man this boy Sharif he ain't playing around he definitely gonna continue to shoot his shots now we get to Jazz and Uncle Phil and Uncle Phil, he is trying to help out Jazz as far as his business. He understands that a lot of stores around his area, they're struggling. And when they're having this conversation, Jazz, he sees Hillary in the background looking in. So he understands that she don't want to her pops and let him know that Jazz got some tax problems and things are not looking too good for him. But we know Jazz and Hillary, 
They're definitely going to have a conversation about this. Now we get to Jeffrey's son, Frederick. He's on the phone. Will, he can hear him around the corner. And this man talking about Jeffrey doesn't know and all that stuff. Being real sneaky like he's, you know, hiding something, right? So as I told you guys, he needs to be watched at all costs. He cannot be trusted. And I'm just hoping that Jeffrey don't mess up. And you know what I'm saying? Get himself caught up in some mess because of his son. Now, we get back to Erica and Aunt Vib, she was just trying to have like a quick conversation with her. Nothing too serious or whatever. And Erica in there tweaking out. You know what I'm saying? Drinking and all that stuff. Acting real nervous and jittery. And, you know, Phil comes in there and he's trying to talk. And all of a sudden, she tells them, look, y'all have, you know, a great night. And she leaves. So, as I told you guys, Erica, she cracking, y'all. I mean, this girl is breaking down bit by bit. Now... We get the jazz and Hillary. He confronts her about, you know, her going to her pops and all that stuff. They go back and forth, back and forth. All of a sudden, the two start making out because somehow, some way, they always end up at all these spots together. So regardless of all the issues that they have, they still got feelings for each other, no matter what. Yes, they were drinking and whatever, but that alcohol, it brought out the truth. Hillary, she ain't ready to get married yet. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, Hillary does push Jazz off her, you know, probably feeling like it's a mistake, but it is what it is. You did what you wanted to do. So what's going to happen with her and LaMarcus? Now, we get to Will and Carlton. They pitch their idea to Quentin about basically just selling their story. You know what I'm saying? The addict that recovered, the basketball player from the hood that, you know, made it or whatever, sell their story and basically just sell merch, t-shirts and stuff like that, different items that people can buy and feed into. And your boy Quentin, he is filling it. They tell him the name, which is Black Cess. And now it's time to see if they can make, you know, some profit out of this business idea. Now, Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, they have a conversation about Erica. I mean, about her being all jittery and nervous and stuff like that. She's asking Uncle Phil, did something go down? Like, what's going on with her? Of course, Uncle Phil's like, I didn't notice anything. I don't know what you're talking about. But Unc Vib ain't stupid. She understands that something is going on and that Phil is not telling her the real story. Now, Jeffrey finally tells Frederick the truth about his past, you know, being a part of a gang. He said he was a part of the Hill Boys. He said he started out as a top boy and then eventually he moved up to second in command. He said once Frederick was born, that's when he decided that he wanted out of the game and that's when he had issues with the boss, right? So the boss basically try to take him out and it was you know jeffrey or the boss so jeffrey did what he had to do so the boss ain't here no more is what i'm thinking and now everybody is trying to get jeffrey and it seems like they have found him and jeffrey shows frederick the picture of uh jeffrey and you know frederick eaton and he tells him like look this is why i gotta keep you close because apparently they have found me and i cannot risk basically you getting hurt and that's why you're here right so we're going to see more details about all of this. Um, I don't trust Frederick. Hell, they could have sent Frederick just to be there to get intel on Jeffrey. Who knows? But I'm going to tell you right now, this dude cannot be trusted. As I told you guys, I'm just hoping Jeffrey don't get caught up in no mess messing around with his son. Now we get to Carlton. He's at a sobriety meeting and he tells his story. He tells them the reason why he popped up the first time. And that was because Amira, this time he is there for himself. He talks about the things that he wants to change, you know, being a better person for himself and his family. And after his meeting, he goes outside and guess who pops up? Amira. Apparently she was stalking him. She was out in the hallway listening to his speech, talking about, look, I need you too. You know what I'm saying? I was just putting on the front. I'm not used to people needing me and all that stuff. She wants to be with him. The two, they start making out. And then we see Spencer. He is looking like, man. What the hell is going on? Because he knows what Unvib knows. You shouldn't be in a relationship like this, especially at this, you know, stage of recovery. And this will be a problem. And he knows who Amira is. She says she's like a, what, a second time uh, offender. So I'm pretty sure she's been at these meetings a whole lot. So expect this to blow up. Something major will happen within that whole storyline, in my opinion. Now, at the end of the episode... Carlton and Will, they are told that a new yoga instructor is going to be working at, you know, the country club. And guess who it is? Your girl, Jackie. 
And apparently Aunt Vib, she put in the, you know a good word for Jackie. So Aunt Vib is out here helping out everybody, especially Jackie. And Jackie know what she's doing. She just wants to get real close to Will. And Carlton and Will have me cracking up because they know this is just messy. You know what I'm saying? What Aunt Vib has just done. So expect more drama to pop off in episode three. You already know it's about to go down, especially when Lisa comes back into the picture. It's going to be, you know, a lot of drama. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. I will catch y'all real soon. I'm going to give you guys, you know, my quick thoughts for episode three after I watch it. And then I'm going to give you that recap as well for episode three later on in the evening. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.